Well, hello, guys. Welcome back. I have a tiny little issue with me. He arrived today. And the funny thing is, story time, he was supposed to go to La Santa. Because La Santa, if you've been following the channel, you know the silver plush foxy that was named Segan and then became Inari and then became Inari Segan. This little one had Inari's fur on her, even though she hasn't, or he or they haven't been upstairs yet. And um, I had ordered them, and I'm really bad at dimensions. So I knew, I saw the dimensions. I even got out a measure and like did all the measurement. But I did not know they would be this tiny and so many cubes. And um, I was doing my meditations in that today. And uh, when I go off to do meditation, guys, sometimes I like to really be alone. So I go off from the gods, and Loki's kind of used to it. Most of them are kind of used to it. And Nori's not used to it, and Nori didn't like it one bit. So, you know, I, I was doing um, Pinterest, and you guys know I use that kind of as a board because it has a certain algorithm to it, and stuff never just pops up at random unless the gods want it to. And... You know, Eshu popped up and Oya popped up. And I thought, oh, that's that's interesting. And then, of course, Oya was here. And Oya wanted to know why she had to come down on this fine day. And why am I not talking to Inari? And I would kind of tried to talk to Inari all day, but I felt like their energy and Loki's energy and everybody else was, like, really distant. And I thought, oh. Because she's always said, don't make me mad enough. To come down and don't make me mad enough, you know, to leave the graveyard. You don't want to see what's going to happen. So I was like, nothing, mama. I'm behaving. And she's like, mm-hmm. So, you know, then she says, well, for all the trouble you've caused, you can name that little fox issue. And he's already red and black, so he's perfect. So this is little tiny issue. And we'll call him issue Legba sometimes. And sometimes issue Legba. And sometimes probably Legba. So, you know, he's he's another one of our little trickster foxes. And Loki knows there's there's no stopping me when I get started on Aishu. He he knows. So it was a good name because they were like, This is all well and good. You have five million Lokis, you have a bunch of Inoris, you need an Aishu. <laughs> so yeah, and it it would be weird to name, you know, one of them after Cousin Coyote or something, but um though that'll eventually probably happen. But this is little Aishu, and I, I wanted to buy little Aishu, you know, to um, siblings. Because I forgot between the time I ordered little Aishu and, you know, and coming in what I paid. And I did pay too much, but I was like, oh, I also saw some other stuff I want. So I'm going to have to wait and see what I want. But little Aishu is just a little ball of fluff. And they're made to be, they're made to be tiny. Um, they're for ages two and up. <laughs> so I think I bought a baby toy without knowing it, but they're so dang cute. I, I don't care. I'm sorry the camera's like really not focusing on them. I think it's that furry little face is having trouble focusing on that furry little face. But yeah, they're so cute. So that's a little issue. And they came in and they're, they're meant to be a tiny handful. They call them little handfuls. You can get them on Amazon eBay, wherever, and and they'll come up and they'll look at the camera. <laughs> okay, so yeah, guys, we just wanted to share that with you, but we have little little issue in the house now. Oh God, I think issue is smiling. Oh, no. <laughs> Anyhow, you know, they're okay with me doing all the spiritual woo-woo stuff I want to do. It's just, they know it's part of being a witch. We go off on our woo occasionally. <laughs> it, I do all the woo I want every day as long as I remember that, you know, I still have my family. I still have my gods and goddesses, and they would like to integrate with it, please. They would like to work with me, please. So we're just working on a way to do it so that I can do my woo, but they can help. Because they get excited too, and they want to help. I kind of forgot that part where, you know, the Kami especially, they want to be right in the middle. They don't even, you know, want to have to wait. They want to be right in the middle 
right in the middle all the time, all the time, all the time. Not just, you know, whenever, but all the time, you know, every day, every day, talk to your commie and have them in and Loki too. And they knew they weren't getting in on their own steam. <laughs> so they were like, oh, we'll go get Oya. And Oya and Aishu will come and she'll be like, okay, I'll do whatever you want. Um, Just from a place of Oya keeps me in line. She makes sure that if I am doing something stupid in her point of view that she keeps me in line. She's a good mom. She, you know, she would never hurt me. Um. She would never harm me if I didn't keep pushing it. Let's put it that way. She's she's a good mom. She's a loving mom. She will not put up with any BS from you, which I like about her. And Ishu, Ishu is the little troublemaker of the family. And um, I he's another trickster, and he's another you know also enforcer of laws like Legba. Um. Some people treat them separately. Some people treat them as the same spirit that changed as they came over. I'm very careful when I deal with them both because they're tricksters. They deal in confusing you and giving you two different answers at the same time and then laughing hysterically. And they don't have... They're like Loki in that they're not going to have that traditional moral compass. Whatever they think you need, you need. And it may not be what you think you need, which is why a lot of people won't work with them. But I find them very, you know, loving and sweet and endearing. But at the same time, there's that feel of, don't push me. Don't push me. You won't like what you get. So, yeah. Um, in fact, a lot of Lego's um, colors on his basement altar which used to be my office altar, he has actually issues coloring or has the voodoo coloring he has in certain areas because his colors are different wherever he is or who they're, which specifically what they're talking to. So yeah, little issue came in and we are so happy to have little issue. Um, I don't know where he'll end up, but if it's not just me, you notice this box has eyebrows. So we have a fox with eyebrows because it's a show that's why so if you guys like what you see like comment subscribe and i'll see you later bye bye